Pachi Kuchi 233, some simple street fighters. So I finished the Sagat picture, but I don't know. It feels like a week where nothing really happened because I actively chose for nothing to really happen. I mean, I did some real world stuff. Um, nothing too complicated. I'm surprised it actually went as planned. Um, so this is where I was last week. Um, the thing about coloring is um, what I've really picked up on in the last few images I've done is that you know when you take your time to do the flat coloring uh, this is as Scott Harris pointed out this is like 80% of the work and then like because I was just listening to a podcast I kind of just finished um, super quick in like I don't know 10 20 minutes so it felt it felt quick because I was I was being entertained as I worked and I didn't actually break down what I was doing to record to show not that there's a lot going on, you know, I added highlights and lowlights and colors, and when I turn it black and white, I'm not sure it's quite got the lighting that is as strong as I would like. So I feel like I'm finished, and I also feel like something is clearly missing, but it's not a thing for me to figure out. So, I mean, I could add textures to, to the thing, but I don't. that's not what I mean. I think it needs, like, some kind of extreme lighting. Uh, what I ended up doing was just kind of doing some lazy quick sketches uh of, of random street fighters because i was i basically wasn't thinking about what i was doing because i was listening uh to a podcast as i was working and it was highly highly entertaining what was i listening to G the jim Cornette experience um he's a american wrestling historian one of the most excellent speakers i've ever heard very very entertaining talking about anything and everything mostly wrestling um very flamboyant very offensive to those who are easily offended and <laughs> pretty much everyone else um so while i'm listening to him uh talk about his his day or his weekend or bad current wrestling that i don't actually watch that's how i find out what's going on um i'm kind of just going through the street fighter cast um at random like let me just use the mechanical pencil and clip studio paint See if I can uh, draw some Street Fighter characters, no reference. Um, more or less based on the manga I have of the Street Fighter 2 anime from like the maybe the late 90s. And this would be a, a bad picture of Vega. Uh, and this would be a bad picture of Ryu. Um, the thing about working <laughs> without reference is... Um, it, the way I draw eyes is eyes, eyes is eyes, noses, and mouths is that I can fake it till I make it, but without reference, there's a there's a certain lack of quality inherent um, as I render these things. You can obviously tell these are faces, and you know here's Ken, but I I don't know what Ken looks like. Um, he's just got some kind of mop top, right? And you know the whole big bushy eyebrows thing. It's like that's just a thing from. Some 90s promotional art, I think. I don't even know if that ever stuck. And then here's a bad picture of Akuma. I really should be able to do better pictures of Akuma. Um, it would afford me uh, a greater quality of output, I think, if I was actually using the, the, the technique to draw the head that Andrew Loomis, um, I've been looking at, has taught me, so to speak. But, you know, these are, I don't know, five-minute quick sketches. Here's another attempt at Vega. And like I was saying, I just don't feel any great compulsion to do something serious and then actually upload it on social media. So what I'm finding is I'm disinclined to do anything at all. Uh, there's an ambivalence that's a little bit larger than my normal ambivalence. And here I am drawing Venom because Venom's one of those characters I draw when I have a bit of paper and something to draw with and I have no direction at all. Uh, I learned to draw Venom when I was a kid and I can still basically draw him you know, to a point, I only learned to draw him as well as I did. Third attempt at Vega, much better with a mask on, but I couldn't nail the hair because I don't really remember his hair. But I am enjoying using the mechanical pencil. Uh, I'm finding that um, you can clearly see where the lines are. The lines clearly denote form. Um, it's just that the form I'm creating isn't quite aesthetically as pleasing as I would like but it's probably fair for the time I'm using to make it and this is just some random bull dude that may or may not be related to some character I saw in some anime I didn't watch 
the guy did have hair, so it's not quite him, but he had a very simple 70s anime face. Um, and so I, I was just sitting there listening to Jim Cornette uh, while my hand was moving. Uh, it's an interesting experience because it, you know, it reminds me that, you know, I can, I don't know if I should say enjoy drawing, but I can draw without it being a chore. Uh, and perhaps I think it's more of a chore to actually create stuff that's awesome than I do to just faff around uh, for my own personal amusement. Who can say? Um, another thing I've been listening to or, or watching is a Thief Let's Play. Uh, it's kind of a, a PC game from back in the day, my day. I've heard about it quite a lot. I thought I'd have a look. It's not what I thought it was. Um, it's also exactly what I thought it was. Interesting. Um Another Let's Play I'm glad I've watched because now I have a greater sense of, you know, gaming history. Uh, I wouldn't play it. Not my cup of tea. Um, so the doodles I did, I thought I'd do a couple of them and come back to them and experiment with just making them a little bit more interesting. With this, I kind of coloured the lines, redrew Guile. Um, <laughs> it's not like you can't tell it's Guile. Um, but... And, you know, with Ken, I actually bothered to look at his hair. It turns out Ken's a really difficult blonde American dude to draw because he's very lacking in character. Like, he doesn't always have the same hair. He doesn't always wear the same clothes. He doesn't always have the same facial features. <laughs> Maybe there are, like, five uh, different guys all called Ken Masters. I don't know. Street Fighter's been going for a long time. Anything's possible. Maybe it really is just Ryu in a wig, though, right? Who can say? Uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do next week. Uh, my reluctance to commit to, I don't know, um, anything. I feel like psychologically I'm wanting to start doing comic book stuff again, not just random separate images. If that's going to turn into anything immediately, I can't say, but I have a feeling um, in the not so distant future I'm going to start getting something done. Maybe Smiley Show related, maybe not. Uh, but that's the end of Pechacucci 233, and I will see you next time.